how to perform cable crunches. Cable crunches is one of my all-time favorite ab exercises. The reason why is because I feel it in all of my abs, but most importantly, in my lower abs. This is honestly my number two ab exercise of all time. So take this one seriously, learn how to do it properly, and it's gonna help you build cut up more defined blockier abs. So what we wanna do is we wanna grab the rope. You can also use the bar if you want to. I'm choosing the rope for this one because it actually has that ball that I can press my hands against. I'm going to bring the balls by my head. I'm going to hinge at the hips, ass out, okay? Feet shoulder width. What you're going to notice is I'm arching my back so I can feel a stretch in my abs. So I'm going to bring the balls to my head, feel a stretch in my abs, hinge at the hips, and then I'm going to crunch my knees, or sorry, my elbows to my knees. Bring it back up. Keep a neutral spine the entire time. Crunch your elbows to knees, back up. It says it's not supposed to look like this. This is not a cable crunch. What we want to do is keep a neutral spine, which means your lower back is straight and arched. And then crunch down. Get that nice deep stretch. Crunch down. Nice deep stretch. Continue. That's the proper form for a cable crunch. You can also do it kneeling. I don't really like it kneeling, to be honest. If I do it kneeling, I lose a lot of the, I lose a lot of the contraction, so I can't go, I can't, my fucking head can't go past the floor, obviously, right? So I can't, <laughs> right? I find that this is the worst movement, because literally, if, if I try to get the same amount of contraction as I do when I'm standing, I'm gonna uh, smoke my head off. Hope that makes sense. Now, let's give a crunch. See you guys in the next one.